Uh, it's kind of amazing. It wasn't that long ago uh, we were talking about him having margin loads and maybe having to uh, sell stock to meet them. Anyway, um, COVID turning the global real estate market upside down. The next year could be different. And now may be the time to start building your post-COVID portfolio. Robert Frank joins us now with more on that. Hey, Robert. Good morning, Mike. Well, just like equity investors, real estate investors are building more global portfolios. And right now, the smart money money may actually be overseas. Now, the 2021 forecast from Knight Frank, that's the global real estate firm, says Shanghai will be the top performing market next year with prices rising 5 percent. That's thanks to Chinese uh, China's strong economic growth and that quick recovery from covid London, also a pretty good bet with 4% price growth expected. That's thanks to a tax holiday on real estate deals and stronger overseas demand. Now, among the losers next year will be New York, which is expected to have zero growth, Mumbai and Buenos Aires, where the pandemic has, of course, taken a much greater toll. Now, the city with the best price growth growth this year is Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, Nearly half of major cities around the world are now back to pre-pandemic levels of sales. But more than a third have also seen, like New York and San Francisco, a flight to the suburbs. There are some potential bubbles forming right now in global real estate. UBS found that Munich and Frankfurt are most at risk of bubbles with prices doubling over the past decade followed by Hong Kong. And Mike, you look at interest rates in Germany right now, you can get a 30-year fixed mortgage for like 85 basis points, so under 1%. Back to you. And I was going to say, I mean, is that what they attribute the bubble-like dynamics to, is just the cost of financing? I know we had those reports of negative uh, mortgage rates in Europe at, at some point in recent years. Yeah, it's it's a lot of that. You've had these price increases in the major cities in Germany for a few years now helped by fiscal stimulus. Um, so, so a lot of the countries in Europe where you've had low interest rates benefit, you know, not just London, Paris, Germany, but, but throughout even Monaco, which is, you would think would be very susceptible to travel, they're expected to have 3% growth next year. So a lot of it is low interest rates and stimulus. But yeah, Germany, I mean, they're, they're almost pay- paying you to get a mortgage in Germany, and that's driven up property prices. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.